Welcome back to Dockside Travel. In this episode, we visit Cozumel, Mexico, but not before Dr. Romance makes an appearance. We spend a bit of time in the Persian Garden, and then when we arrive in Cozumel mid-morning, we head to Chancanab Park to take in the sights and to do a little snorkeling. Later in the evening, we take in the Motown show before we head off to the Martini Bar. Then we close out the night at the Silent Disco. Stay tuned. Good morning, on our way to Cozumel, day five, I don't even know what day it is. Day six. Day six, on our way to Cozumel, heading to Cafe El Bacio for a little coffee, maybe some breakfast. We don't get in until 10 this morning, so we got a bit of extra time on our hands. Love in an elevator. Too early. Dr. Romans strikes again. It didn't take long for Melanie to remind me that the guy sitting next to us at dinner last night gave his wife a diamond bracelet. The guy next to us has some weird bracelets on a silver platter. <laughs> he makes us all look bad. <laughs> what was he thinking? <laughs> Would you like a bracelet? Yeah. I could do that. I could make <laughs> that happen. Now. They have, just been a they have beautiful candy bracelets in Cozumel. <laughs> you know, when we were kids, the little bracelets with all the candies on them? <laughs> this is my face. <laughs> uh, now we're on our way to a better morning. Need at least two coffees every morning. This is a little breakfast. In about five minutes when we're done our coffee, we're going to Blue's for big breakfast. And then maybe before we go to Cozumel, we'll go to the Ocean View, Ca Ocean View Cafe and we'll have late breakfast. <laughs> One coffee in, <laughs> heading for the second coffee uh, before she's even awake. I may need three. Tales from the ship. There's Cozumel. And how was your party last night? It was early, <laughs> but that's okay. You can do it all. You gotta pace yourself. <laughs> she had to go to bed early. She was a little tired yesterday from all the heat and all the walking. Just took the good right out of her. I was ready to go dancing, but... <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> <laughs> I liked that they had funky dishes and they served them in interesting ways and that they had great takes on the different tastes. What don't you like about this one? Stupid cartoons. <laughs> no, I like cartoons. I think that they are limited. People after one time going won't go again because they've already had the experience. I am told I must agree. Yes, That's why we're not going. It goes on every set of comic cards. <laughs> it Bring does. back the old QZ. It, it really does. <laughs> After breakfast, we had a little bit of time before we got to Cozumel, so we decided to stop by the Persian Garden. <laughs> Steam bath. Sweat a few pounds off on that place. Whew. Cold room. Come to chill after that hot steamy room. Golden beauties decorate the Persian garden. Dr. Romance strikes again. Being a romantic is hard work. Before we knew it, we were arriving in Cozumel and we went to get ready to spend our day ashore.
Cozumel is quite a busy cruise port and there are usually many ships docked at the same time. Navigating through the port area can be a little confusing with all the shops and the different twists and turns, but we finally did make it to the taxi station. We have a full video on the Cozumel cruise port and Chancana Park. See the link below. A short taxi ride later, we arrived at Chancana Park. We've been to Chonkanob many times before, and we always look for a place near the beach and the snorkeling area. There are lots of seats and the service here is great all day long. It didn't take long before I was in the water snorkeling, as Chonkanob has a great reef and lots of fish. One thing that you should be aware of is that the fish here are very accustomed to swimmers and they'll come right to you as soon as you enter the water. So if you're a new snorkeler, you should be prepared for that. Chonkanob is also great for scuba diving allows you to get down a little deeper to see the fish and some of the underwater statues that are placed throughout the snorkeling area. Chonkanob is also known for its dolphin enclosure and you can take an excursion here where you get to swim with the dolphins. There are some great walking trails throughout Chonkanob Park and you can see lots of wildlife including birds and iguanas. Before we knew it was lunchtime and time for a couple of cold cervezas. Hello. <laughs> it was about three o'clock when we decided we had had enough sun and surf for the day and we were heading back to the cruise ship. A short taxi ride back and we were in the port so we did a little exploring. We knew we had a little more time before dinner, so as we headed back to the ship, we decided to go to the pool for the rest of the afternoon. Before we knew it, the cruise ships were departing port, so we headed back to the cabin to get cleaned up for dinner and head out for the evening. After yet another beautiful dinner in blue, we decided to head to the Reflection Theater for the Motown show. After another great show, we decided to head to the Martini Bar and we caught a little show there as well. And of course we couldn't let those dancer shoes go to waste, so to cap off our night we headed to the silent disco in the main atrium.
Good morning. Welcome back to the Celebrity Reflection. Our, uh, we didn't get a chance to do our daily ending video yesterday when we finished our Cozumel day. It was a little late when we got back, but what was the highlight of your day? Definitely going back to Chancana. We hadn't been there for a very long time and it was one of our favorite places when we were earlier cruisers. And uh, it always feels like a place where we get all the things that we really like from a port day. Um, so it's really nice to be back there. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've been to Cozumel, probably five or six years. A lot of our recent cruises have been towards the Southern Caribbean. So this was really nice. And I agree, Chancanab was beautiful. The snorkeling is just fantastic. And the number of fish and the coral and the service is fantastic. It's just a few minutes away from the port. Very easy to get there by taxi. So yeah, we got back around 3.30 yesterday and the ship didn't leave until I think it was seven. So we, we got off as soon as the ship docked, spent you know, four or five hours at Chancanab and in the heat and the sun, that was, that was quite a bit. So then we came back and we went to the pool and it was really nice at the pool yesterday. So we did get to enjoy a bit of the ship and relax. We are uh, have a sea day. It's our last day of this first cruise. So we'll see what that's all about. Join us for our next episode and thanks for watching.